Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be doing a review of a new launcher which is gaining popularity these days. And this is my 22nd Android launcher review. If you are interested in seeing other launchers review, I'll put the links in the description. Just go and check that out. Now the launcher we are talking about is called the EV launcher. As you can see here, uh, this is what is here and it has gained quite a uh, you know a good uh, ranking. In the, it is 4.6 and it's not very old. It's just 10,000 means only a couple of weeks uh, old. Also, if you go uh, downside, you can see the launcher is quite active. It's completely free. There is no ads and all. This is what is uh, more important for me and uh, you can see just last updated uh, 29 September and also got 10,000 plus download so I was just playing with the launcher for more than a day now and I'm just going to share you guys some of the positives and pros and cons and what I like what I don't like here so let's get started first of all I'm just give you a uh, give you a brief overview so this is what uh, your launcher setup looks like when you first install that you're not going to get any stuff here you'll just get a search bar here all right if you just swipe here you get this uh, app drawer there is no app drawer button here it's completely gone here and this is another your widget page you don't need to hard press on the screen and search for and look for the widgets you can directly uh, click here and can move to the desktop you can easily create that okay now there's a second setting options you have some options like changing wallpaper you can change the icon pack in case you have a stop you can go ahead and download that and also the good thing is that you have the google integration you can also change the home screen size in layout you can make the size bigger you can adjust number of rows you want you can see you can adjust the columns you want so depends on your phone screen size since this is nexus 6 6 inch screen so i like that much it is fine and you have option to switch to the launcher and you can also hide the launcher whichever you want so that it won't cover a display in the uh, app drawer you can just search and get that Along with that, there is a clear recent search functionality which you can, whatever you type here, you can clear that. So this is about the overview. Now we talk about the, uh, you know, some of the features here. So first of all, you can easily import the folders and layout from the previous launcher. So this layout is completely, uh, it's from my previous launcher, No Launcher Prime. So when I install that, it's asked for me to, you know, restore. So I did restore everything else and I got that. And the important thing is that if you just swipe up, you'll get this Google Now integration. This is very nice feature. Not all launchers support this, only Google now launcher has this feature and the dreamer pixel launcher which need rooted device to get this feature and now you can have this launcher this is uh, i prefer the launcher which has this feature you can just swipe up so unlike the google now launcher which in which you need to swipe here so you can get this feature here otherwise if you just swipe down here this is actually a universal search you can search all the stuffs here uh, all the number of apps you can create shortcut with that you can search on the web itself and maps so it's a kind of general search but even the google you can do here itself if i just type here for example uh sounds so it can uh, directly uh, show me the sound setting you can just create it here and you can create direct shortcut from it if you just click here it goes here. this is what more important because for my purpose i need to uh, keep my device unlocked for a long time so i was looking for always to create display setting shortcut so i can get here and since this is new but i can easily access any settings from here so this is feature i, I like very much about that and also you have few customization as we've shown you here you can easily change the folders and icons layout number of rows and column you can create a number of home screens too so all you need to do uh, just as of now you can see this is not possible to create no home screen but it shows you can create you can take any uh, launcher here and you can move the new pin it will create it okay so in this way you can create a new full uh, home screen too and easily utilize that and also guys it's very memory efficient i was using this from the modern day and i did check that it's not taking much memory as you can see it's just solution takes only 14.5 mb here and also it's not going to take more than 0 to 1% of the battery i'm running actually two phone one of my nexus 6p and it's here too you can see average is 20 to 150 mb this is obvious with any launcher says so no drawback on that so this is uh, some of the few features that i really like about this launcher now we talk about some of the cons so there is no direct app search in case you have long app search history so if you just want to search app itself so you cannot do it here you need to just depends on this uh, alphabetical order either way you can get from here but it shows all the other results too just in case i'm saying in case you want only apps 
okay and also guys if you just open a folder here so there is no navigation between in folders there are many launchers support this folder they just navigate between all the folders this is a time saving feature you need to open all that because you might not remember like in which folder you copied what or accidentally you move here and there so using this feature uh, you can do in many launcher but not here and also you cannot uh, customize this folder unlike you can customize icons uh, i can icon size itself you cannot do that you need to just deal with this square icon you cannot do with a nougat based round launcher or make some background change whatever so this is also a limitation there and guys uh, just for my uh, suggestion opinion here so for example if you're writing your phone is big hand so you should be expecting to you know, get this menu feature from right side instead of getting from the left side so this is kind of enhanced but not a bug but anyway this is fine so at the end for whom it is recommended so in case you like uh, you depend on google now features a lot and this is the only reason you are using google now launcher or apk side loaded base pixel launcher this is launcher is for you because i haven't seen much launcher which has this uh, you know gesture based uh, google now feature integrated and we have also discussed pros and cons in case you uh, whatever cons we have shared this doesn't matter you so you can definitely go and try that launcher otherwise this is nice and simple launcher so that's it guys for this video and this is sort of we'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching